it before this is a hat from hat hat works uh Gigi gaskins uh who's a peach of a person and a really good hat maker she made this that's like you know it's not like i mean she did it right there in the store okay so oh we're good we got uh sell the products and you know gigs and coming up okay here we go uh well wait a second let's do let's do a reading from baseball uh, weird stuff from baseball. Bob Feller, the Cleveland Indians celebrated pitcher, discovered he had a major league fastball at the age of 12 when one of his pitches broke three of his father's ribs. <laughs> okay. Uh, his father, of course, the well-known uh, criminal mad dog Feller. Uh, the size of the baseball diamond has not changed since Alexander Cartwright stepped off 90 feet between the bases 165 years ago. Okay, Shazam. There you go. All right, upcoming gigs, September. Okay, this is uh, in the uh, Southern California area on KLCS TV of uh, this Friday the 13th. <laughs> uh, they'll be showing mu Music City Roots. Uh, on Friday the 13th in Southern California and I'm going to be on it with the band and having a good time. Okay, oh yeah, and uh, <clears throat> September 14th we're at the Grapevine and the Clive Des Moines area in Iowa. Clive Des Moines. It sounds like an English spy. Um, and then on the September 15th we're at uh, the fabulous Byron's uh, CD Bar and Music Emporium in Pomeroy, Iowa. And uh, here's the here's the poster for the Byron's gig. Byron's is a great place to play. We always have fun there. Uh, here we go. Okay, now I'm going to do a song. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> this is a hard one to play. <clears throat> it's called The Dangerous Man. Thank you. 
desert war I fought is over. I sleep beneath the English sky. But every waking hour is haunted. The desert sun still burns my eyes. And if you dream when you are sleeping, can find you dreamed in vain. I dreamed a dream with my eyes open, and that made me a dangerous man. Okay, uh, that's called A Dangerous Man, and that's about uh, T.E. Lawrence, you know, Lawrence of Arabia, <clears throat> and uh, he wrote this book, uh, The Seven Pillars of Wisdom, and he's talking about the Arab revolt that he was a part of uh, during World War I, and he, and he says that in the book, that, you know, he and the peop the, his band of men dream their dreams with their eyes open and that made them dangerous and so that was the kickoff point for the song and <clears throat> um lawrence after the war uh couldn't handle the the uh, sort of a claim that he that was coming his way so he re-enlisted in the he was a colonel in the army during world war one after the war he gets out of the army but he can't handle the fame and he re-enlists in the army <clears throat> as a private under the name of uh, Shaw and uh, you know went back into the army and he was part of a kind of a rescue team that would that would rest uh, it was like a naval thing it was had to do with the war I don't know why it was part of the Navy but anyway uh, he saved people's lives and stuff really weird guy and uh, then he died on, in a motorcycle accident he was he really liked to go fast and he was tooling down this road and a little kid kind of walked out and he was trying to avoid the kid and he wiped out and got killed and he's weird in any number of ways but he, he was good friends with all these literary guys and they'd kind of hang out with him and uh, yeah so that's Lawrence of Arabia that's my song about uh, T.E. Lawrence and I, I used to do it a bunch I'm hard to play but I used to do it a bunch and then it turns out most people don't uh, don't know that's that it's Lawrence, and then a whole bunch of other people they might know that it's Lawrence of Arabia, but they don't give a shit. So I start I pretty much have stopped doing it. Too bad. <clears throat> it's a cool little tune. And I recorded that on uh, Eye of the Storm over at uh, Joe Fleming's place, and uh, he uh, he played electric sitar on it. It's a really cool recording. Okay, so I wanted to say I'm getting ready to do this uh, crowdfunding Kickstarter, whatchamacallit, whatever it is, uh, campaign. And uh, several of you have uh, written in suggestions and, you know, sort of things that might be good giveaways for uh, people who kick in some dough. And I really appreciate it. And any other any other suggestions you can send in would be great. <clears throat> okay, well that's it. That's what I got for this week. And I'll see you next time around. So long. You never know. You never know.